Guys, today we are going to be seeing Malayalam cinema has created history in 2024. So guys, without further ado, I would like us to see what this you know channel has for us. I have talked about Malayalam cinema in 2024 to death by now. And there's a reason for it. They've been giving us back-to-back -back critically acclaimed Of course, that is true. First five that is of true. The year. That is something that is to true. be talked about. But they have done something more. Malayalam cinema has created history at the box office by Whoa. garnering over 1,000 crores and there are still seven months more to go with so many big releases to come. Turbo's ah, advance is damn. already creating news. But the question is, why is it all happening in this year? There have been great Malayalam films every year in the past. What is so special about this particular year? Let's yeah, start. what Hello is special guys, about this year? Before coming <laughs> to the reasons behind Malayalam cinema's success, let's first talk about numbers. By the month of May, the list of top 10 highest grossing Indian films of 2024 include four Malayalam films, which are Manjumal oh. Boys, Avesham, Ooh. The Good Life, Araru Jeevitam, and The Premium. Good Life. There are no stats available to know if this has happened before, but this is definitely a big deal. And there's more. According to Ormax Media's report, which is a company that tracks all the insights regarding the film what? industry, within the four months, twice, a Malayalam film was the highest grossing film of that month. That First is insane. First in February with Manjumal Boys, and then in April with Avesha. Oh, if you talk about Avisham. the share between all the industries in these four months, Malayalam cinema is at number three with 19%. But ah, you have to remember damn. here something. All the revenue that the dub versions of the Malayalam films made, it is added to those languages, not Malayalam. So when you look at the chart again, clearly, if you consider how much Prem Lu made and Manjumal Boys made in the mm -hmm. dub versions. And if you add that also to Malayalam, it will become the second highest after Bollywood. Wow. If you want to read more about the report, I'll put the link to that. That is insane. But now coming to the reasons. What led to all of this happening this year? And the reason number one is the lack of competition. The first five months of Malayalam cinema has been amazing, but that's totally opposite for all other industries. The yeah. month of Jan this year was the busiest with so many festival releases. But since then, it's been really dry, especially in the southern states. Tamil cinema has just given 100 crore film till now. That was Captain yeah, Miller you know, back in Jack. You know, Similarly, actually the, the Tamil films and Telugu films, yo, they're actually killing it, bro. <laughs> they're actually killing the, you know, the Indian cinema thing, bro. So I'm so happy seeing, you know, Malayalam. Thanks to you guys for introducing me to Malayalam um, cinema, you know, world. And I'm so grateful for that. Hanuman which came out in Jan is the highest grossing film. After that, no big film came out. And Kannada cinema has been struggling for two years now. Now during this time, the only option the audience got was from Malayalam cinema. The original versions did well, but the dub versions did splendid. Malayalam cinema being the only offering became the go-to for the audiences. And because those films were good, it oh. worked with the audiences. The word of mouth led to what we are seeing today. Now in Hindi, that didn't work out that well because there was competition. And also the Hindi dubs were not available in theaters. But when these Malayalam films came on OTT with the Hindi dub, they are getting all the buzz. And you can tell that from social media, everyone talking about those films. YouTube channels, which never covered Malayalam cinema, that is true. are making videos about them. That uh, yeah, the even me, I'm also making films about it's Malayalam. That, that is true. The industry has forgotten how to that make is true, films guys. and only Malayalam cinema is making them. A lot of things were at play, which led to there being such a big vacuum and Malayalam cinema capitalizing on that. And those reasons are that in the first half of the year, you generally don't get big films because there are not many big slots. January is a great month with the festival and Republic Day. Then we have Eid, which is followed by summer vacation where people would go out to watch films. Mm -hmm. But since IPL becomes such a big thing, yeah. big films <laughs> tend not to release at this point. It's, because it's true, the it's true. shows, especially in the weekends, get it's affected true. a lot. Over that, yeah, this that year is true. we had Lok Sabha elections. That is also a reason behind many films shifting the release dates. And then the heat wave. Across the country, it's so hot. Yo, it's people so crazy and like, that, that is that is freaking crazy so the heat waves like india could get super hot to extend that yo it's so bad it's so bad i remember when i was in india it's so crazy i'll be going back in june hopefully yeah hopefully <laughs> if i don't get in june maybe i'll, I'll reschedule my my journey um but I'm hoping in June I go. So, yeah. 
definitely affects people coming out to watch movies in theaters. And that's why going into the second half of the year, we'll see a lot many bigger films coming out, pan-Indian films releasing, and the highest grossing list will go through a lot of changes. But who knows what will happen? Maybe Malayalam cinema still make a mark. And that's because reason number two, the availability of these films. You know, over all these years, the goodwill that Malayalam cinema has created for itself has come to play this year. From being yeah. totally ignorant and unknown, the audience that is has true. come very far and have developed a relationship with Malayalam films. And especially in South, you know that people love their cinema. People religiously go and watch films every week. So when yeah, these films are reaching I heard that. in the language they prefer, they'll of course grasp on it. And I've yeah. seen that personally. Malayalam films did not get a release near me. But this year has been extraordinary. In the big films, except Prem Lu, every other film I got to watch in a theatre. That too with subtitles. So the distribution has really improved. Even if it's just one or two show a day. Because even those do well, the performance increases and there yeah. will be more demand. Yeah. And this demand has been increasing because that is of true. point number three, the variety of films we are getting. If you notice, the four big films that have reached out, they all are different, yet they are same. Let me yeah. explain. All four are very different kind of films, very distinct narratives. But all four of them are theatrical experiences. They're actually not the traditional Malayalam films which are very rooted, which are very small, which are very niche. These are big films. They have this commercial aspect to them. Manjubal mm. Boy's a survival thriller is very gut-wrenching. It gives you the claustrophobic feeling. It is yeah. meant to be experienced in a theatre. And then we have another survival drama, Aruji Vitam. But it's different because you get to experience yeah, this pleasure true. on the that's biggest true. screen. You feel like you're alone with the character. Then Prem Lu is a full rom-com to be joined so with the you laugh what? together. You can go and watch it with your friends and family. Then Avesh Sham is a gangster spoof but a massive film. God it gives damn. you the high. And even with the recent releases, they are all family oriented. Go have fun in the theatre. And hearing all this, you know, question arise. If Malayalam cinema can do it, why can't others? What is stopping them? And that brings to point number four, the efficient filmmaking. The process of making film in Kerala, the system in place is so efficient. The turnaround of a film is so quick. The time they spend on shooting the film is less. The budgets are in control. Very important. They don't have unnecessary marketing cost. Like literally a week or days before the release, they put out the trailers. As an industry, they have less resources compared to others. And they use them really wisely. They spend the money very, very wisely. Money of film, course. That's true. Premalu is a fine example. Made at such a small budget and the return is just outstanding. And it shows you that you don't need big names, big actors and big directors to come together to make a film then only the audience will come to the theater no you can just no. make a good film that the audience will come that is they true guys that else. is true now if you still think Malayalam cinema is a mystery you can check out this video where I reveal the secrets why it's so great why their movies stand out and work so well That's what good. do you think so guys let me know what you think about what this dude is saying but for me see I didn't know who um how do you call it Fahan Fazal I don't know who, who, who he was for real I don't know who he is. I don't know. And the people that, you know, stared in the movie, got featured in the movie, Abisham, I don't know any of them. Like for real, from Fahan Fazal to wh whoever, I don't know any of them. But the movie and the trailer and the song and everything about it got my, like it, it, it grabs me, bro. So I don't think even though the big actors also sell movies but i don't think you know it's that much of a point if the movie is good the storyline is good everything in the film got delivered at the right point or the right way i swear to god the movie is going to go very far so even though you know big actors counts but they don't really count that much you understand for it's like for example coming out with a good song and then it's been released automatically it's going if the song is good and the story like the lyrics of the song make sense and you know gets into the people's heart of course they're going to enjoy the song and promote it for you since there is reels um tiktok whatever the, the song is going to go viral if you feature a big artist too you know, sometimes the big artists come out with some kind of movies and then the movies doesn't sell, like for real. Some people make losses in the film because the storyline is not good. Sometimes some people think it's because they are big so the movie can, you know, sell or something. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this video I just, you know, reacted to. Right now I'm just getting into Mal Malayalam cinema. I'm, I, I love Malayalam right now. <laughs> 
it's my i when i go back to india i want to go to kerala like to explore there i'm going to be starting a live stream yeah so keep watching i'll be doing like live streams whilst walking in the street so yeah of india so if you are watching me just hop on it let's 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 make this possible so yeah it's a boy like you said i'm all keep suggesting videos for me to be reacting to and i'm out peace